Bonito woman's morning stroll took a turn for the worse. She's warning others about thieves on the prowl in an unlikely place. Channel 5's Daisy Martinez is live with her story. Daisy. Dina, the victim tells me her morning stroll down a resaca trail ended with shattered glass and her privacy stolen. It started out as a typical Friday morning when this woman, who we'll call Cindy, headed out for a morning walk at the trail near Haven Park. She parked here and set off for about an hour and a half. When she got back to her vehicle, she noticed the back window smashed in. Somebody had broken it to, to steal two. I had a couple of purses in there that were stolen. Personal information and credit cards all gone. Cindy says she's surprised this happened at a public park during the day. Cindy tells us she's lost her sense of security. Oh, I'm scared for my own safety and my family's safety. You know, I have family and they're my priority, you know, my concern. With summer right around the corner and activity picking up at the park, she's speaking out in hopes it won't happen to anyone else. You know, especially ladies out there, be careful, don't, you know, carry cash or hide your purses or something. San Benito Police Chief Michael Galvan tells us they have a few clues about the burglar, but he is still on the run. He's not surprised about this crime of opportunity. If uh, somebody wants something bad enough or if they are trying to support a habit, whether it's drugs or, or whatever, um, they will, if they see the opportunity to, and they want to take advantage of that opportunity, they will do it. Whether it's day, night, it, it doesn't matter. He says people can make themselves less of a target. Even if you have change in your cup holder, you'd be surprised how many times people have broken windows and just taken the change in the cup holder. Uh, a pair of sunglasses, they could be dollar store sunglasses, but they'll even break the window to take those. Uh, so anything that looks valuable, it's best not to leave it in plain sight where it can be a, um, tempting to the burglar or the thief to break the window and take it. Galvan says some of Cindy's items were recovered near the outskirts of town. She was able to cancel her cards before the thief could do any more damage. Chief Galvan says if you are going to a trail, try to carry the minimum in your car and only essentials on you like an ID and a credit card. He's also asking people to become familiar with any emergency features on their phones so they can use those if they ever experience a threat while on a trail. Live from the Cameron County Newsroom, Daisy Martinez, Channel 5 News at 6.